Hey guys, how's it going? So this is going to be a really quick video because <laughs> just as I set up the camera, um, it started raining, but I wanted to talk to you about weird smells and uh, ghosts in Meerschaum pipes. And this is a Meerschaum that I showed you guys that I just acquired. Look at that. Look at the color starting to return to the shank on that pipe. But um, despite what you may have read or heard online, uh, my own personal experiences now going on I'm on, on my fourth year of smoking meerschaums is that sometimes you will get a pipe that has a smell or a ghost to it. So this is a AKB Moosen that I acquired. Just a straight billiard, small little pipe. This pipe had a funny smell to it. And funny is the best way that I can use to describe it. It kind of had a chemical smell. Uh, this pipe here same thing this is a paycock canadian and um it still has a smell to it it's not off-putting um that's the strange thing is that i don't know if it's the um need to be careful here i don't know if it's the bleached um wax that they use obviously we all know that meerschaum is mined out of the earth i have heard of some people commenting about new meerschaum pipes having kind of like a low tide smell or taste to it i think what's going on with this pipe is all of the nice coloring that was put on it was put on it with an aromatic tobacco which i'm i'm an aromatic smoker but here's the tip let's cut to the chase one thing that you can do is smoke a lot of burly tobacco in a meerschaum pipe and it really helps to uh, lessen or even get rid of any smells or tastes that are in the pipe. I call it burly-ing burly burly the pipe. <laughs> so that fast, really quick. So what I'm running through this pipe in particular, I've got some straight up white burly. Um, I am running some Carter Hall through this pipe, uh, Lane Limited Ready Rub. Um, if you've got some Haunted Bookshop, that would be really good. Solani, Age Burley Flake, just anything that you've got that is predominantly burly, smoke a lot of burly through these pipes. And over time, through several bowls, and some of them can be a little bit more obstinate than others um these smells and stuff will begin to go away and to me the my pipes start to take on more of a tobacco taste or smell just a just a plain tobacco smell and taste like you can pick it up and smell the pipe and it just smells like pipe tobacco so anyways if you've got a pipe that's got a weird smell or taste to it run a lot of burly through it and um it should help quite a bit all right guys take care bye-bye